Hi everyone, and I hope you are doing well. This is episode 2 of the series from the Grand Mafia game, Chasing T4. So I hope you've been okay, and I hope this time round my commentary is a better quality of sound. Because I play my game on my smartphone, which is a um, Samsung Galaxy, and the previously I was using the microphone that came with, with, with the phone. Why wouldn't you? But I realized that actually it actually doesn't sound as good. Um, so I went and bought myself a USB-C to a microphone connection, so I can connect um, a microphone and talk to a microphone uh, rather than the built-in microphone, and I hope the quality of my voice is much, much better, and it doesn't sound too phasey and sort of like really funny. So anyway, so that's out of the way. Let me show you where I have been so far in the game Chasing T4. Now, it's been just over 30 days since I actually started playing the game from scratch, and just to see things where they are, I am just below 6 million influence. Okay, and uh, next what I'm doing is my mansion is at the moment, I think, 19 and about to be 20, not too long after this video. So that's the progress. Um, if you don't know, if you haven't watched my previous episode 1, Chasing T4 is that I'm trying to chase up and get my investment up to T4. And let's have a look what my crew is doing. And most of the time, uh, I say 90% of the time, I'm chasing, upgrading my investment for my crew. So... Um, my expedition one, level one is eight. My reconning is eight as well. And I'm just now bruiser attack is coming up to eight. All of them are seven. Defense are seven. And then the, the health point are at seven. And I'm up to crew defense one uh, attack and health point down at the bottom um, here. So they are at maximum. So they'll be upgraded next when I get to level 20 for my mention. Now, what we're trying to do is to get T4. Okay, so one of the main issues with T4, getting T4, and the longest it's going to take, is that we're going to need investment level 25. Okay, that's the, that's, that's the hardest thing. Uh, because once you get that one, the rest... Is, should be quite easy and to get that uh, you know let's say to investment center level 25 we're gonna need um, mention level um, 25 and most of other buildings we're gonna need 25 as well okay and uh, let's see how long it's gonna take now I've been playing the game quite regularly um, even throughout the day, risking my day job for you guys <laughs> just to find out um, how long it will actually take. Now, on average, playing about um, 10 times a day and about 5 to 10 minutes each time, sometimes even longer, just to keep up with things. I am part of a good, a big uh, faction as well which really really helps without that you can't really progress much uh, so that's that's really good and um, and most of my buildings are progressing again I am not worried at, at the moment uh, the level of my other buildings as long as I've got one main building let's say for um, uh, the smelter it's 19 uh, uh, the ammo shop is 18. See, uh, even my bank is 16 and warehouse is 16. And I'm only upgrading if I need to upgrade um, the next level of my mansion, which will allow upgrading of my investment center. So most of the other ones, you know, if I don't need to upgrade, I, they, I'm not going to upgrade. Of course, eventually, I will need all of this... Um, other buildings 
Level 25, my, uh, my faction hotel, uh, the uh, black market, um, not sure about the workshop, probably even the workshop, the faction club, the hostage cell, and then, which I still can't get, the interrogation room. These are all going to be um, sort of level 25 before investment is level 25. So I still have a long way to go, but it's progressing well. Now, because I am part of a good faction, I don't need to worry too much about resources. I can get enough resources uh, from the faction. So, you know, level 7, if they're that, that, that be it. Of course, as you may have seen in my previous video, I've got lots of diamond labs because those are the things that I'm going to need quite a lot later on. Knowing from my experience from my main account that I play, so that's what you're going to need. Again, I'm not more worried much about, um, you know, the um, at the training center and getting, um, you know, uh, uh, associates getting there just enough so that I can rob casinos um, and get some resources and, and so on. Other than that, I only have two hospitals. Yeah, two. Yeah, maybe two. Yeah, two hospitals. So it, it doesn't give me much. But it still gives me about 66,000 at the moment. Um, you can see right there. 66,000 to, um, to save. And I still also have the um, sanitarium, which is okay. And the number of... Uh, I've only got 92,000 associates, you can see at the top at the moment. And that's pretty much plenty. And most of the time, I just click... I've got locked in at 1,000, just to 1,000. It's going to take eight hours. I don't need to speed it up just so that um, I can get, you know, higher level casinos attacking. I'm going to need more um, for, for resources. I'm going to need more um, associates. And that's the only reason is there. So as far as the wall is concerned, just a couple thousand there just to wear off, um, uh, you know, and scare off some other uh, turfs attacking me and if they do it's not much of a loss I don't care because the only reason I have this account is to see how quickly I'm going to you know, move up and get T4 so as I mentioned it's been just over 30 days and that's the progress you know just under 6 million as to my enforcers you can see I'm only concentrating on uh, Neo because He's the only one at the moment that has um, the option for uh, uh, investment speed. And uh, yeah, and everything else. And of course, Vinny, uh, Vinny would have the, um, the speed for building, but that's a secondary option and I'm not going to worry too much about that. Um, okay, so that's already at Elite Plus One. So once I get it to gold, that means my investment control will be at 25%, which is really great. Um, what else? So any other investment? So as I do more and more of the um, the black market, uh, the, uh, what's it called? The um, uh, underground market attacks, I will get more white dove tokens. So white dove will also be able to help me out with the investment speeding up. So whenever I have any um, STAs, then it basically goes to him and just keep doing that. And that's how I'm trying to uh, get because investment is the only thing that's going to get me into T4. Nothing else. Okay, so I think that's uh, about it uh, for now. If you have other uh, ideas how I can uh, improve and speed up the process, if you have the experience, please do use the comment section below to let me know, you know how I can speed this up. Of course, um, I normally, just so that I can save resources, I should mention that, uh, whenever I'm already full, I wait until all my um, uh, faction help is at full. Now that it is, I can go in here and then click 
speed up, use all the speed up for that, nothing else. All the speed up will go to that. Yes, I do have a seven day, which I was lucky enough to receive. So I'm going to use that when the next time I need seven days, so that will speed it up. And all of my gold is only paid uh, for the investment as well. And sometimes I do, if I need to speed up the, um, the construction, and it's, and it is down to, let's say, five, six hundred gold, then I've got enough, I can speed it up so I can go to the next level. But again, you know, speeding up the buildings doesn't really help because I still have to wait for this investment to, to go through. And I, and I hope that's a good strategy from my side to minimize wasting any resources to anything else other than, um, you know, investment speeding. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. So if you have any comments, uh, please do use the comment section below. And if you have any questions, how, why, again, please use the comment section below. And I see you in the next episode in either a couple of weeks' time or thereabouts. And I'll keep you updated with episode three. Till next time, as always, thanks for watching and have a great time playing the game. And as I say, be kind always. Cheers, guys.